happy middle of the night, everybody. It's about two o'clock in the morning and I'm awake because all yesterday I was in bed with one of those nightmare migraines. Can't stand any vision, anything, no light, absolutely no sound, no movement. Try to take a trip in. That'd be great if it would stay down. So once my migraine finally broke about midnight, I can't sleep anymore. So if I can't do quite anything serious in terms of art creation at this point, being a little migraine hungover, I'm just sitting here doing some sketches quietly. I don't know why it seemed like a good idea to record. Dehydrated as all get out. My skin's a mess. My hair, I don't even. <laughs> there we are. I read an, uh, an article last weekend about how there's been correlation discovered between abnormalities in the um, <laughs> visual cortex. There we go. Brain's still not 100 percent. Abnormalities in the visual cortex found as correlating with migraine sufferers. And it's always great when they find out something new, but they still don't actually know the cause of them or what they really are. But hopefully a step closer, maybe. And it, it's curious. I don't know that much about brain function outside of random things that I read like that, but uh, I wonder how abnormalities in the visual cortex affect uh, creators, especially visual creators. And if it's more than just a thing that causes you pain randomly. So curious, just curious. But hope Hopefully, it's just been a rough week with different headaches, but this one was a nightmare one, you know, if you suffer from migraines, you know what I mean. And uh, I'm hoping I'm moving on from that now. I just had a very stressful, but hopefully good, dramatic change in my life. And I'm hoping that these migraines are just response to that change, whether stress or whatever. And so I'll be able to move on and it's out of my system. We can only hope. So late night musings, what do they call it? There's a name for migraine hangover. I believe it's called post-drome. So, post-drome musings at two o'clock in the morning. I'm sure this is very entertaining. <laughs> and I couldn't find a pencil in the dark. So I'm drawing with a pen, trying to sketch whatever. I have no direction, no real thoughts. Everything I can do to just be upright and yet I can't lay down anymore for the life of me. I just lose my little mind. <laughs> so, I guess, I don't know what, I have nothing of much more value to talk about. Hopefully, I do have a video I'm working on to go into more details about the big change that I mentioned properly uh, and discuss what that is, but not tonight. That's just too much then, <laughs> too much. <laughs> so we'll see if I can like make myself tired enough simply by the fact that it's middle of the night. Although I live someplace where it never gets dark at night, not really. Have you ever experienced that? I don't mean like um, up in, up way north where the sun just doesn't set for a period of time. I just mean like light pollution. So even on the darkest nights when there's no moon or anything covered by clouds, you still go outside and there's like 
a haze, glowing haze, lighting things up at least a little bit. And it's coming from somebody who grew up in a rural town, spent a decent amount of time more country-ish than city-ish. It's weird to get used to, even after this many years. And I miss stars. <laughs> I think there's no, I, I have no ideal. I know I can't live in a big city and have my anxiety be okay with that because, you know, crazy person. Um, there's a lot I really don't like about being in the suburbs. Lack of character um, and culture. However, extreme amounts of conveniences is nice. Like there's a grocery store a block away from me and within a five mile radius, probably a hundred others. So that's, I guess, what the trade-off is. Um, small towns have their own ups and downs. Country has its own ups and downs. So whatever. I am where I am and I make the best of all of it. Home is home. So, yeah. And I'm rambling. Okay. I think Crazy Linnell needs some quiet time. <laughs> I'll see you guys later and uh, I'll more details coming up so if for some reason you just randomly watch this video, subscribe, and hopefully it'll be interesting and insightful. Good night, Elle.